Baker says hospitalization rates in the state have been flat for about two weeks now. However, the state suffered its largest single day death toll yesterday since the pandemic began. Beth Ward joins us live from home with more on the governor's daily briefing and a look at local COVID-19 numbers. Beth. Well, Jordan, the governor today saying in his daily briefing on the coronavirus throughout Massachusetts that there are 4,000 patients now hospitalized throughout the Bay State. We'll have more on some encouraging numbers on that. But first, let's take a look at some of the numbers here in Western Mass. Here's what we know today. Local hospitals and medical centers reporting. Let's first go to Bay State. Taking a look at their numbers there to date, they have tested just over 6,000 people. 108 are now hospitalized. 14 in critical care. 27 are under investigation. Investigation. Now, day over day, here's a look. 264 more tests than yesterday. Just over 5,000 have come back negative. Just over 1,000 positive. That's 18.1%. That number remains flat. That's good news. At Cooley Dickinson Hospital, numbers in just today, 28 more positive tests. The number of those hospitalized is up slightly as their number of patients in ICU. That's up as well. Just under 200 patients are now under investigation for COVID-19. Well, back to Governor Baker, who says yesterday marked the single largest number of deaths to date in the Bay State at 252. However, he says the percentage of those hospitalized remains at about 6% and has remained flat for about 15 days now. He said that means we are in the midst of a plateau. Well, we're watching for that downward trend that many people talk about, uh, not just here, but in many other places with respect to monitoring and measuring the uh, spread of the disease. The number of people needing hospital care here in the Commonwealth has stayed pretty consistent, as I said, for the better part of the past two weeks. Flip side of that was we haven't seen an increase um, for about two weeks as well, which is also a good thing. Well, the governor also talked about increased efforts on those contact tracing. He said that so far the tracing team has reached about 5,000 people suspected to have been in close contact with those testing positive for the virus. He asked residents to please pick up the phone, answer the call. If a caller ID comes over saying mass COVID team, that means someone you've been in close contact with has tested positive. So hey, you may want to pick up that one. Meantime, the advisory team that the governor has put together to formulate a phased reopening of the state. Well, he says that they have hit the ground running. Remember that there are two representatives here in Western Mass. He said they have already met with many businesses and organizations and municipalities to try to figure out a plan. He says that the deadline to put together their recommend recommendations, that is, is before that May 18th deadline. That, of course, is the new deadline for those non-essential workers uh, to go back to work. Reporting live from home, Beth Ward, Western Mass News.